Okay guys, we're back on their Revenge of the Cartel episode. What we're gonna be doing is solving the uh, puzzle that's in the uh, manor. Yeah, every mansion needs a puzzle. So in order to start this, we're going to need to get into uh, this room right here. And the way that you enter this room, well, first off, this room is forward, and then you can take the uh, left up the stairwell. And then we'll clear out this area right here of enemies, which will open this door after a boss, after one of the underbosses spawn. And when you're in the, this room, you want to go straight for this keyboard right here. Oh, a puzzle! And where there's puzzles, there's loot! So each puzzle will have a symbol. Well, each monitor will have a symbol on it that dedicates a specific number for the puzzle. So we got a cube, a cylinder, a cube, and a pyramid. Now over here we have numbers. We have 147, 258, 369, basically the numbers on your uh, keyboard's numpad. Now it's laid out for a crossbow. And then we have these three artifacts over here. These three artifacts over here correspond with the symbols on the monitors. And what we're going to want to do is enter in the spaces that are away from the artifacts, except kind of in reverse. It's really weird. So, first thing we got is our cube. So we have our cube and our artifact, which is these gold pieces right here. Well, the, the, yeah. These are the artifacts of the gold things right here. So that one is two spaces away. So since it's two spaces away, and we're dealing with the square, because I don't know why they did it, but for some reason, well, I do know why they did So the way those are lined up is the way that they're numbered over here. So your pyramid would be your first column, then your cube would be your second column, and your cylinder would be your third column. Okay, so our cube is our first up. So our cube is two spaces away. So we'll be counting up to. So our cube is five. And how you know you got that right is this light will glow bright, and then a grenade won't fall on you right here. I've done this a couple times already. All right. So then we got our cube right. Now we're onto our cylinder. So our cylinder is three spaces away. One, two, three. Okay. So since it's three spaces away, we will go nine, six, three. So three will be our next number. All right, got that one correct. Now we're back to our cube again, which will be the same thing that we did before. So that's only two spaces away. So we got our five again. And then we're back to, uh, now we're on the pyramid, which would be the first set of numbers. Now my pyramid is one, two, three. Yeah, so it's three spaces away. So our cube wants us to be at number one. Right, and that's all nobody, that but nobody out puzzle Zen by eat your heart out puzzle. So you basically go left, you basically just mimic up and down from this, and you follow these monitors left to right. And then that'll unlock this puzzle room over here, which will have a couple of chests and some money on it. And that's how you basically just solve the mysterious puzzle of the mansion. I, I will warn you that the puzzle is randomized every single time, so I'll just watch this and enter the same inputs I did because it'll most likely be different unless you get the same goal that I did. But yeah, that's basically all you need to do to uh, get into this track. And I'll complete that objective for, uh, for you. So, just to uh, repeat, go, go into this room, 
hit this pad right here, which will initiate these four monitors to turn into a symbol. Each symbol corresponds with a symbol on this uh, bookshelf. And then numbers corresponding to those will appear on this bookshelf as well, and they'll grow. So, by s the amount of spacing up from the artifact that's on the TV, you enter that number from bottom to top. And that's all you do. That's basically all you need to do to solve the puzzle. If you fail to enter the number correctly, a grenade will drop down. Then I believe you have to finish up the mission. Finish out the mission. I'm not sure. Quit out of saving works, and then come back in and try it again. So it's kind of a one-time go. So if you're not sure, just keep on checking and make sure you get it right. But yeah, that's how you solve the puzzle. So good luck with your puzzle. And basically just do what I did.